Weather Authority, meteorologist Ron Rose. All right, 11.33, it's time for a live pack. Angie, ready. are you ready for a high? I'm ready. Uh, this was pretty good today, not bad. If you're prone to getting motion sickness, uh, you should know that the best place to sit in a plane is, where do you think? I don't know. The middle seat near the wing. So the spot is known for the least affected by turbulence. So if you have motion sickness, either pop a couple of drama me, like, yeah, right. <laughs> like a lot right. of people do, or you just go sit in the middle of the plane. Or even I get a seat. I did not in the know plane. that. I know the back would not be uh, a no, place to be. Not usually. But if no. you're sitting in the middle of the plane by the wing, keep in mind, you're probably going to have to be the one to do the exit deal. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And plus, you can't see anything. No, you, know, you see wing that wing, you know, but hey, you know what? You won't get motion sick. Right, there you be, go. That was a good one. Won't be using that barf bag either. <laughs> 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 I love it. Well, somebody who flies a lot, Jim Johnson, do you agree with that assessment right there? He's giving it the nod. Yeah, I agree. Uh, sounds like a good life hack to me. Diamond Valley Federal Credit Union camera there at Deaconess Gateway. We're looking down upon 66 and 69, and no problems whatsoever there. They're still working on that right-hand lane, though, 66. Uh, they're working on the uh, interchange uh, between basically the side roads and 66. And, yeah, that'll be going on for a little while longer, it looks like. Beautiful blue sky over Owensboro. Of course, i got Friday after 5 going on tonight in downtown Owensboro. Party every Friday night in downtown. I was out there last weekend. Love it. I'll be out there in a couple of weekends, too. Angie and I will be. We're going to be judging the Friday Night Fights finals. And the, it's not a boxing match or MMA. It's actually a talent show. Uh, they call it the Friday Night Fights. But anyway, uh, we'll be out there in a few weeks. Love this shot here from our Austin Homes camera. Looking at that beautiful blue sky. I got some high, thin, serious clouds and a few cumulus clouds, too, overhead. And downtown Evansville in all its glory. Superior Ag camera on top of Fifth Third Bank. Right now, 82 degrees. Dew point is down today into the low and mid-60s. And that's where we like to have it this time of the year, if not lower. Uh, but it's below 65. And I think that's the main thing. Uh, once you get to 65, it's kind of borderline humid. Now, it's still going to be pretty warm out there. In fact, very warm. We'll hit the upper 80s. But... With a lower humidity today, and it didn't feel terrible yesterday, uh, it's going to be feeling okay. Not much of a wind out there to deal with. What we do see mainly is going to be north-northeast at around 5 to 10 miles an hour, ushering in some drier air. All right, how low can we go temperature-wise? 78 degrees showing up in Fairfield, 79 degrees in French Lake, 80, I think our run ends there. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I see an 80. Uh, in Harrisburg right there, 81, 81, it can be done. 82, 81 in Henderson, 82 degrees in Owens Row, 83 Calhoun for Mama, 84 degrees. Uh, maybe we can't do it. 85, though, in Madisonville. So, yeah, we're starting to warm up pretty well. We'll be in the upper 80s in some locations, including Madisonville, might hit the big 9-0. Beautiful sunrise in Webster County this morning, and really all across the Tri-State for a second straight day had a beauty of a sunrise this is from Otten Tom Basham got this great shot looks like a hint of fog out there but the fog wasn't really too bad this morning but yeah farm country there I love that shot there thank you Tom for that live first morning dot the radar not showing a thing and we are seeing though uh, some rain off in the distance on our storm tracker but you got to go a long way and we had a little bit of rain showers in Memphis uh, activity and now that's off the board so if you're traveling down to Nashville just a few clouds out there Indy's looking good so does Chicago but we got this next system uh, now starting to taking sh take shape anyway out to the west you can see a Boeing line of thunderstorms north of Kansas City uh, that will not be impacting us uh, but at the same time that system will be impacting us as we take a look at future track really not much going on over the course of the afternoon and early evening for most of us anyway now if you're traveling down to the lakes you might run across a stray shower or thunder shower out there now here we go after midnight now we're starting to see some thunderstorms uh, popping up to the northwest still outside the tri-state by six o'clock though those storms up to the north of 64 and then as we head toward uh, mid-morning you can see those showers and thunderstorms still increasing a little bit and spreading across the tri-state best chance for rain is going to be in the middle of the day and then we're seeing those showers and thunderstorms off the board by mid-afternoon and then we clear out for the most part as we head into Saturday night and Sunday and Sunday's gonna be less humid looking good still have an isolated threat for most of the tri-state tomorrow middle of the day again late morning early afternoon best chance and a slight risk down to the southwest 89 degrees for a high today with a mix of sunshine and clouds less humid love those words north northeast wind at 5 to 10 on the three degree guarantee called for a high yesterday of 88 got up to 88 bingo on the notes earl dobb of evansville congratulations earl you've got yourself an umbrella courtesy of ackerman chiropractic come on by the station pick it up see pam up front she's the keeper of the goodies 89 today so close to 90 but less humid today humid tomorrow 85 chance for some thunderstorms mainly in the middle of the day and an isolated severe threat for most of us and then you can see temperatures cooler less humid on sunday angie Yay. slight chance of rain and not looking bad monday and tuesday the humidity still stays fairly low we're is today. I mean, tolerable anyway. In the upper 80s for highs, typical for this time of the year. Check out this night sky from wow. Wednesday night. This is in Hicks, Illinois. 
And Kurt Davis, who gets some of the best shots you're ever going to see, got this Gorgeous. here. Bit of a time lapse there. You can see that meteor streaking across the sky. By the way, the Perseids meteor shower is going to be starting uh, to take shape later in this month, and it's going to peak in, it looks like, the second week of August. Heads All up. right. It's wonderful to see. It is. And you know what else is wonderful to see? Jim Johnson. You know He's bringing the goodies.